What? Mine are all blank. What? No, those those all have things on them. Brandon. They're blank to me. <laughs> Why? Why are they blank for you? I don't know. There's Zeus and breathes fire. That's not this blank. Is this question. Like, a thing keeps on coming up when I like. It's this improper URL in the box thing. Oh my god. Do we need to reload the mod? I think so. It might be a good well, idea. Well, yeah, that's embarrassing. Okay, so... Redo! Brandon, what are we playing today? We're playing Super Fighter! Super Fighter! Alright, the first match is gonna be between Brandon and Aiden. So you guys, draw all your stuff. Alright, okay. so, in case you don't know how this game works, which I doubt anyone does, because I'd never heard of it before this. Basically what happens is there are character cards, which are the white ones, and then there are attribute cards, which are the black ones. And basically, you pick a character, and then you match it with a trait, and then you throw them out, and then you get more traits to add on to those characters. And then, uh, once you do that, you t the two basically have a debate, sort of, in which you argue that your side is the better character. And then the uh, third player, or whichever other player isn't participating, uh, will decide who is the winner of the match. That's pretty much it. This is gonna be tough, Jack. All right. Well, Aiden already has his good selection, ones. so. Here, we'll put the discard pile like right here. Yeah. Okay, I'll do this. That's a good plan. I'm excited. Actually, okay. wait. Do I want that? Boo! What do we want? I don't want this. The tension is building. With the discard. It's like right here. Right here. The small stacks. <clears throat> I don't want that. No, I don't want that. I don't want that either. I okay. can't go for that. No, no, no can do. Sure, I'll go with that. Okay. If I need to win in a fight, that's what I'm going for. <laughs> mm. There. Alright. Alright, boys. Alright. Uh, Aiden, Riddle, you wanna go first? Flip... Okay. Alright, yeah, Aiden, introduce yourself. Alright, so... For my fighter, I have selected uh, the mighty Oompa Loompa. <laughs> <laughs> However, he's got one fatal flaw, but I fixed that by making him ten stories tall. <laughs> okay. Alright, Brandon. Well, that's pretty good, but you see, it's not as good as this. You see, I got the Lord on my side. I got Moses. <laughs> oh my goodness. And not only do I have freaking Moses, Moses has aimbot. <laughs> Aww, that's not even fair. Yeah. Oh wow. So yeah. Right. There is I a cookie in my mouth. Alright. Draw two attributes and then flip them. Don't okay. flip them just yet. Alright. We're gonna go back to Aiden. Alright. First we got... Riding a phoenix. Nice, nice. Must be a really big phoenix. And... Lactating. <laughs> I, I don't I don't see the combat advantage in that, but you know. That's you like ready? gallons of milk, man. <laughs> Are you ready? Brandon, go. I'm ready. So we got Moses with aimbot with Uh oh. Kiss of death. He's gonna seduce me. Uh-huh. And Possessed by Michael Jackson's ghost. <laughs> Oh boy, so he's right. gonna beat it while beating you. <laughs> all right, guys, take take a second to uh, think about your uh, your case and uh, tell me who is better, starting with uh, Brandon. Okay, so I got the Lord on my side, as I said before. You know, like God. This is new meaning for God tier fighter person. But in addition to that, he has aimbot with the kiss of death. So like he kisses whoever he wants, and they die. And, like I said earlier, he's gonna beat it while beating you, because it's Michael Jackson's ghost. And he's just gonna slap you with his right glove. And then put it back All on. Alright. Great. Alright. And then read the Ten Commandments out. <laughs> Alright, Aiden. How can you beat so, that? Alright, so, we got this Oompa Loompa, normally not that fierce, but when he's ten stories tall, he can just, like, crush anything in his path. Also, he is riding a phoenix, which makes him even more ferocious, and, like, like, the orange of the phoenix fire and the orange of the Oompa Loompa makes them fuse into one mighty being. And, uh, also for good measure, he is lactating, so he can drown you as well. <laughs> oh, boy. 
Okay. Brandon. Mm-hmm. It would appear that uh, with straight uh, damage and uh, uh, fight ability, you are you are clearly stronger with uh, with all your skills and attributes. Yeah. But it would seem that uh, Aiden is a much more imposing threat, and uh, he does he does have the secret weapon of breast milk on his side. <laughs> and uh, I feel like this would this would be a very very close fight. Mm-hmm. I would I would like to see it happen, but okay. I, I feel like Moses would edge out just slightly. Oh yes. yeah! So Brandon takes round one. Boy, okay, Moses, come back here. Yeah, go ahead and keep keep. Yeah, Moses. just put it like Moses. Moses. All right. Yeah, just make discards and then shuffle. All right, we don't need to shuffle. Okay, yeah. so now Brandon, since you won, we'll just mm-hmm. rotate uh, counterclockwise from now on. Okay. So you'll be judge, and Aiden and I will fight. Okay. Oh. Okay. Here we go. You guys ready for this? I'm rotating yeah, around the table. Nice. Cute. Uh oh. Jack, you have a bunch of squiggly question marks. Alright, let's I see, see what we're working with. What do you have? No, don't take that out. <laughs> what are you doing? I don't know. Being a mean person. Alright. <laughs> oh, it's one of those games. Mm-hmm. It is one of those games, Jack. It's like Cards Against Humanity, but... Yeah. Slightly different. Because you have to fight. What on earth? So in other words, nothing like that. Yeah. My fighter is selected. Oh, oops. Okay. I didn't mean to draw Jack, you have card. two seconds. Right, One, two, I have, okay. I have it. Aiden wins by default. Hey, whoa, whoa. We must have a fierce battle. We must have an ultimate showdown. Is this your warrior? Yes, that is my warrior right there. Okay, we'll start with Aiden. Aiden, right. show us your stuff. You lost to me last round. All right, well, I'm bringing out got. the big guns this time with uh, Rambo. Oh, okay. But this just this isn't any regular Rambo. This is huh. zombie Rambo. <laughs> okay, that's going to be hard to beat Rambo, but undead. Yeah. Let's see what you got, Jack. All right. To uh, combat the, uh, the Vietnamese power of Rambo, I have Hulk Hogan and Rocky <laughs> Balboa conjoined at the penises. Wait, how is he being Rocky Balboa and Rambo? <laughs> I have Sylvester Stallone OG going up against the new school Sylvester, <laughs> and also he can call a giant eagle. Oh, oh. no. <laughs> okay. I don't know how I'm going to fight that. <laughs> you got Zombie Rambo. You're not out of here yet. And he might get, like, a bad attribute, so. Yeah. All right. Like, he right. might, like, shit everywhere and slip on everything. Something like that. So let's see here. All right. What, what are these right, black so cards doing here? I don't want this. <laughs> for my first random attribute, I have. Oh, no. <laughs> that would have been good back up that. <laughs> Uh, man, what is it with Sylvester right. Stallone's dick today? <laughs> I mean, I guess that's not an issue. Let's see what the other one okay. is. Okay. Armed with a trident. <laughs> okay, so it's not Rambo trident with... <laughs> okay, with a bone. Okay. Uh, he's Jack, a zombie. you got... Alright, so, got? uh, not only is it that, but also, he's armed with throwing stars. Oh, come okay. on! And, he breathes fire! <laughs> oh my... Okay. I guess that means both of them breathe fire. It's a double-headed, double-headed eagle collar with throwing okay. stars on fire. I'll yeah. start with you. I'll... Okay, so, you're... This is pretty impressive. Must be said. But, I feel like this, being joined at the dicks, it's a liability, man. Like, well, they can't do anything, it removes all of its... Yeah. Alright, well, you see, the, um... Being conjoined at the dick is actually where all the power comes from. Because you see, okay. when they're while they are conjoined at the dick, if one of them ejaculates, the <laughs> force of the ejaculating air out of their dick, along with the semen, will also create a whistling sound off the other person's <laughs> urethra, which will call the giant eagle because it has honed into that frequency. <laughs> and then also, if both of them are to pee or ejaculate at the same time, that is how they breathe fire, because they get twice the amount of distance from their dick flamethrower. Mm-hmm. And then also, they're just both armed with throwing stars, because Hulk Hogan and Rocky Balboa are both very, very buff men. 
And so they can't use their dick for everything, so they have some throwing stars to best back up. All right. Cool. Aiden? All right. So, uh... So we got Rambo, who is a who's a unkillable killing machine, but it doesn't even matter because he's already dead because he's a zombie. So now you double can't kill him, and uh, he's going in all uh, guns a blazing, and uh, <laughs> he's he's got a he's got a nice trident for stabbing. So like, he, Do, uh, because are, he's are a these zombie, are these the same thing? Yeah, yeah, they're, they're the same. <laughs> and uh, so he can he can get all up in your grill and get stabbing, and uh, you won't be able to kill him because he's undead. All right. So, how I see this going down, I see Rambo going in with his zombie boner. And he's going head-to-head -head with Hulk Hogan and <laughs> Bucky over here. I think they already were. And then he's going <laughs> to... <laughs> so, the eagle's going to come down. And it's going to, like, knock Rambo down. But he's going to get back up. And then throwing stars are going to come at him. And then he's going to get thrown down. And then he's going to get back up again. And then breathing fire, and then he's just gonna be incinerated after that. So, because I don't think zombies, I think zombies are weak to fire. Mm. Personally, in my personal experience, I had much yeah, experience with true. that. So, yeah, I'm gonna have to go with Jack here. Ooh. All right. Great job, Jack. All right, GG. Okay, Aiden, you're the you're the judge now. Yes. Yay. Oh, why, why to push my cards out of the way? <laughs> I'm more rude. Worried. Oh, mine didn't Rude. even go. Mine Rude. didn't even work. Stop. I'm sorry. <laughs> Just put them in. All right. Oh Look, my right god. There. Mine, mine don't want to go in. Try they again. don't want to go in. Hold on. Can you, do you have the magic touch? Let me let me just spin them around, maybe? There we go. No, don't go to red player. player. Alright, boys, show me what you're made of. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. All right. Got some I, interesting I don't choices. See how, I don't see how I cannot do this. I think. I think this is better. Oh, you made hey, a butterfly. Hey, cards, you okay? You made a butterfly. Okay, there. Uh, Just flipping them. Oh, there you go. There, beautiful. I've made my All selection. Right. All right, as have I. All right, uh, Jack. All right, we'll so uh, to start off, we have our head honcho, our head leader, our head of the church, the Pope himself. Oh my goodness. And, Battle uh, Pope. Not only is it Battle Pope, but it's Battle Pope in a tank. Oh my Oh my god. That's what I call a crusade. Alright. <laughs> Brennan? Okay. Can you stack up to that? I think so. Right. Ready? Dazzle me. Bada 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 bada. Goku. <laughs> Goku. Oh. Alright. That inherited Willy Wonka's chocolate factory. <laughs> so he's also got Oompa Loompas on his side. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He has an army of Oompa Loompas. <laughs> <sighs> All right. Let's see what else they can do. Oh, hold on. Frick, come here. Come here. Try harder. There you go. Okay, ready? How many do we need? Two? Two. Uh-huh. Okay. All right. Oh, what? No. I didn't... <laughs> Did you Oof. throw your card? What you yeah. got, Jack? All right. So, uh, not only is it the Pope in a tank, but uh, it is also... He's really good oh. at making badass quotable threats over the phone. Oh, so he can call you from his tank. Ooh. Right. That's not safe. Don't do that. And uh, he also has feet for hands. <laughs> <laughs> Little known fact about the Pope. But he's also got feet for feet. Like, his feet are regular. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But he's, Is that what? Okay. <laughs> so he's like a horse. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So Goku, so he's rich and has Oompa Loompas. All right. Controls the weather. Oh, but with his Nimbus. <laughs> exactly. And he can also... He's blind and deaf, but has superhuman smelling ability. <laughs> Alright, so... <sighs> Alright. 
Okay. Okay. So Jack, tell, tell me why your foot-handed battle pope is ready to uh, <laughs> to lay down the law. So the pope is a very, very lovable guy. You know, he's a very popular pope. This one, and uh, not only is he very popular now, but now he makes really good quotes. So now you can love your pope and quote him too. And uh, you like uh, Liam Neeson and Taken. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And uh, not only is he the pope, but he has feet for hands and feet for feet. And so that, like, like uh, I can't think of a good pun for this, but uh, he'll kick you. <laughs> Twice as many feet per feet. Okay. And if he can't kick you with his hand feet, he will kick you with a tank. Because the Pope has a tank. And not only is it a tank, but it's like the Pope Mobile tank. So it's made of what the Pope Mobile is made out of, but it's also a tank. Okay. Nice, nice. So. On my side, I have Goku, and you know, he's freaking Goku, okay? He is Goku. For one, that's all I have to say. Number two, <laughs> superhuman smelling ability, or no, that's in Willy Wonka's. So he has an army of Oompa Loompas he and does. money and stuff. So he's, like, really powerful and awesome. Controls the weather. He can, like, do whatever he wants. He can make a tornado and, like, whoosh up the, his, like, the Pope's tank over there or, like, electrocute the Pope. And he's able to smell the fear of the Pope. He's, he can smell fear. Because the Pope, you know, he's he's all cool and stuff, but he's afraid that he's going to be a bad Pope, you know? All that pressure right, on right. him. But, all uh, that pressure that he's going to fail in battle because he has feet for feet, you know? Yeah, but yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. the first time it's ever happened. Yeah, but you're not only smelling pope. fear, you're smelling for, uh, twice the foot odor than before. That's exactly. True. I can smell everything, and I know exactly where you are. All and right. so I can do exactly so... with my weather abilities. So here's how I picture this going down. So, um... So the Pope Pope calls up Mr. Goku and he makes a really awesome, like well thought out threat and uh but Goku Goku can't hear it because he's deaf, so <laughs> so he's immune to that. So Say, hey, Goku, he's safe there. And uh so, so then the Pope's driving his tank into battle and uh Mr. Goku's probably riding in on the uh what was it, the the super elevator from the Willy Wonka chocolate factory, but but Goku Goku can't find him because his nose is just overwhelmed by the scent of chocolate and Oompa Loompa. So, so, but the Pope also has feet for hands, so he's having a hard time driving this tank. So it's kind of a war of attrition, and uh, I think eventually the Pope would maybe get a lucky shot and uh, shoot down Goku's elevator. What? So uh, I'm going to go with the Pope on this one. No. <laughs> no. Foot for hands, Pope wins. Oh, you guys want to keep going? Yeah, let's do some more. Oh my god. One second, I want to get some water. Okay. Uh, intermission.